During the afternoon commute, three dump trucks collided in the westbound lanes of the Gardner and Spadina. One of the trucks caught fire. Police say a driver in his 50s died at the scene. Traffic backed up for long stretches with diversions in place. This just hours after another highway was closed in both directions at the worst possible time. After this dump truck struck a pedestrian bridge under construction on the QEW near Cawther in Mississauga. Drivers were forced to side roads during the morning commute. Police say the truck's bin was in the up position when it hit the overhead structure. The driver seen here being interviewed by an Ontario Ministry of Labour investigator saying little. Did you have your loads fastened properly at the time? I'm just talking with that guy. Okay. Right now. I'm talking with that guy right now. That driver waited seven hours on scene. The QEW was closed more than four hours as crews repaired the bridge and a cleanup took place. Oh, fatigue, falling asleep, they're not paying attention. The head of the Ontario Dump Truck Association says those are some of the factors in many incidents involving dump trucks. Issues like drivers exceeding a 13-hour workday. There is quite a lot of issues with driver fatigue and working over hours. There's technology to monitor driver behavior and to warn if equipment's in the safe position, but it's not mandatory. We've approached many different levels of government with this information, but unfortunately till today nothing's really been done. Four dump trucks in all, disrupting travel for thousands of people in just one day. An estimated 5,000 dump trucks working in Ontario and we're seeing more and more collisions. Now, the dump trucks were involved in the collision just in front of me. They've just been cleared, but the backlog, as you can see, the backlog here has not cleared. One more example of how two incidents, two collisions can tie up traffic and affect the day for thousands of people just like that. Tracy. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Sean O'Shea reporting live for us. Thanks, Sean.